wanna hold you down Hey guys, welcome back to East Shore Drive News Productions channel. Hey, we've got to work on that name. Yeah, that's kind of... We've got a foolish episode for you today, and we hope you enjoy. Today we've got some good stories about Kanye West, new lunch dispensers, construction in G hallways, a student poll, Miss Hardesty's evil twin in Ithaca's next musical. I'm Evan James. And I'm Owen Kinney. You've probably noticed the big black towers around the school this year. Well, we finally have some happy news. They're being rolled out, literally, with the Lunch Swiftly Delivered program, or LSD for short. These towers, equipped with artificial intelligence, will search for students and deliver them their lunch. They will use trackers planted in each student's Chromebook as well as facial recognition features to verify the student. However, there's still a little bit of a learning curve and there are malfunctions occasionally. Thank you for that clip, Katie. You're really doing a great job showing the public what could happen under this program. Kanye West has made a complete 360 and now says he likes Jewish people after seeing Jonah Hill as Schmidt in 21 Jump Street, saying, quote, No Christian can be labeled anti-Semite knowing Jesus is a Jew. Thank you, Jonah Hill. I love you. End quote. If Jonah Hill's character was, wasn't named Schmidt, I don't think Kanye would have noticed he was Jewish. And now we have an interview with a lifelong Kanye fan. Let's see how he feels about his recent controversial tweets. Excuse me, sir. How do you feel about the recent acts of my Kanye West? Hmm. Well, he made graduation. 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 All right. Well, I hope he's happy about the news, and thank you to Jonah Hill from 11 years ago. Oh, wait, hold on. This just in. Kanye has just watched Seinfeld, and now he hates Jewish people again. As you all know, there's been a lot of construction in G hallways. However, do any of us actually know what's going on in there? We have an interview with one of, the, one of these construction workers now, Doug, and we hope that he can answer the questions we all have. Hello, I'm here with Doug the construction worker at the site of the new bathrooms in G. Doug, they say that these renovations are going to be very, very good and improve the bathroom substantially. Is that true? Yeah, we're putting in like toilets, sink stalls, you name it. Yeah, are there going to be any showers installed? Because I know a lot of people at the school could use them. No, no plans. No plans for showers. Baths? No baths. Damn. Uh, are there... We, witnesses say that they saw a man carrying a box labeled Candle with Care, Human Remains Inside, and followed by men with robes, and they heard chanting inside the bathrooms. What do you have to say on this? No, no, no interview. Hey, hey stop. Hey. <laughs> How's your hand? It wants the truth. <sighs> Thanks, Doug. We managed to get a statement from Mr. Trumbull on the situation, with him saying, quote, I assure you no such cult exists in the lower G bathrooms. It's in the upper G bathrooms. I mean, uh, the, the order of the upper Louvellians is not real. I mean, stop filming this. This is off the record, right? Cut the recording. Get out of my office right now. End quote. Wow. Freedom of the press much. Mm. Speaking of Mr. Trumbull, a new poll shows that 105% of students are in support of universal lunch. The survey was conducted by Jason Trumbull and a group of, group of administrators that did not threaten suspension if the poll takers didn't say yes and did not manipulate the poll results. Another poll conducted by the same administrators showed that 113% love the G bathroom renovations and 156% of Ithaca High School students love the new seven period schedule. This past Monday, an extremely startling revelation was made. Miss Hardesty has a secret evil twin, Mr. Softesty. Since Miss Hardesty has hit it for so long, Mr. Softesty has announced a dastardly evil plan. Make Ithaca High School's schedule good. The announcement was so shocking, Dr. Brown fainted and was brought to Cayuga Medical Center. Not, not sponsored. His status was unknown. One student was quoted as saying, the schedule might be good. I can't believe this. Several teachers and administrators also reacted with shock. Mr. Trumbull has also been quoted as saying, I, cannot, I can't believe that he would foil my plans to take over the world using bad schedules. Oh, then he started screaming very loudly, started convulsing, and spontaneously combusted. He is also currently at Cayuga Medical Center, not sponsored. Another Jason Trumbull story. Jason Trumbull, principal of Ithaca High School, has announced that he will be writing next year's musical entitled Jason Trumbull, The Musical. End quote. Wait, what? End quote. That's not a quote. 
The musical chronicles Jason Trumbull's life and times as a child, a student, and an administrator. The musical, in an early preview, has been criticized by critical critics as, quote, egotistical, ridiculous, and terrible, end quote. The musical is set to have its premiere on April 31st, 2024 in Ithaca High School's own Culp Auditorium, and there will be 50% student discount, which allows students to pay only a small loan of $1 million to see the production. You guys for watching Fake Street News. Have a terrible day. You suck. <laughs> I hate you all. Oh, man. God, I hate this episode. Man, this is God, the I worst. Hate... I hate. Do we have a single viewer? We're can... This is over. We're canceled. Honestly. We're canceled. Oh, yeah, happy over. birthday to my grandpa. Happy birthday. He, he told me to say that. Happy birthday. He's like 90. Wow, that's old. Honestly, yeah. Oh, that's too old. Honestly. Someone tell Mr. Shine that there's some like food on his on his like collar. Made that music.